this is actually the case. It's been worked out with math and everything. With math and everything. With math and everything. If an accelerating Rindler observer is in the same location as an inertial observer, the former will see that patch of space filled with radiation, but the latter will see an empty vacuum in the same patch. At first glance, this disagreement seems like a huge conflict. What if the Rindler observer accelerates fast enough that they are burned to a crisp by UNRU radiation? Does the inertial observer see some sort of spontaneous combustion? Where does that energy appear to come from if not from particles? A little less gruesomely, imagine the Rindler observer has a particle detector. Every time an UNRU particle hits the detector, it would click. And the inertial observer would agree that it clicked, but they wouldn't see the particle that triggered it. And this is actually the case. It's been worked out with math and everything. The proof uses something called an UNRU DeWitt detector. This is a fancy name for a particle in a box. This particle is coupled to the quantum field of interest, meaning it can exchange energy with that field. That means the particle can be excited into a higher energy quantum state when it encounters a particle associated with that field. So, as the detector accelerates, UNRU particles appear. The detector particle gets excited by an UNRU particle, causing the detector to click. But what does this look like for someone not accelerating but in the same patch of space? Well, they also see the accelerating detector click, but they argue that it's for a very different reason. When they perform the relativistic field theory calculation to understand the coupling between the detector particle and the field, they get that there's a sort of drag or friction term between the detector and the field that results from the acceleration that causes energy to be dumped into the detector particle. The source of that energy is the acceleration itself. The upshot? is that the very existence of particles is observer dependent. Here's a specific example. A charged particle accelerating in a magnetic field emits radiation, bremsstrahlung radiation. An inertial observer sees the charged particle itself radiating, its energy extracted from the magnetic field. But an observer accelerating with that charged particle sees it absorbing UNRU particles and then spitting them out again. The Rindler and inertial observers disagree on the source of the energy, even if they agree on the final result.